When did you know that this was what was going to happen? Um, I got asked before Christmas. So um, even just watching that there is really tough yeah. to watch, especially because of the 84 uh, campaign that you guys did. Um, yeah, I got, I got asked before Christmas and I was just full of all different emotions. You know, mm. I was instantly scared. I was nervous um, and completely heartbroken because I knew that this was this was more than just a storyline, mm. and I knew the the impact that it's that it's going to have on the public when it is aired, and I think it's amazing that Coronation Street is covering this. So yeah, I'm kind of, I'm still full of all emotions. But, yeah. Well, it is a shock. I mean, it is a complete shock yeah. to everybody around him, his friends, his family, us as viewers. But for him, he has been living with this. He has been oh, living yeah. with this in his head for a long time. This yeah. has been building up through all of those storylines, from Maria's affair mm -hmm. to Eva with the false pregnancy to money issues that he's had with the factory to yeah. Carla's kidney to the, now the new... I mean, this is layer upon layer upon layer. Yeah, there's always been something that's underlining with, with Aidan as, as he's been going along. There's never any one moment where you think something deeper is going on. Um, the viewers would have saw it, but of course, um, the cast members, obviously the actors, they wouldn't have noticed that, you know, uh, that there was these little moments playing out and that's that's the message that we're trying to get out, you know, that sometimes it's not as plain to see. Yeah. You know, you have to look a little bit deeper. Um, but all the signs were there with Aidan. But he didn't talk to anyone. He didn't. And, he, and yeah, that's the scary thing about it. And when, when it actually does air, I think it's on the second um, episode on Monday, yeah. that'll be my final episode. But then everyone will be able to see all the times that he could have spoken Been to somebody, saved. but he just felt like he couldn't. It's like yeah. a, almost like a suicide note it, to his it, dad. Absolutely. Um, and that was another discussion that, that I had with Kate, because we didn't know how to approach the whole kind of suicide no thing. Um, a lot of people don't leave suicide notes, a lot of people do. And with this, what Aidan was doing was, yeah, he was putting his suicide note into practice, you know, so he was giving his dad a golf membership, he was making sure that everyone got their jobs back at the factory because of when that happened. Um, he gives little Liam his, his, his expensive watch. Just little things, you know, he was building up so many better relationships so he, he felt like people could see that Aidan was a nice guy yeah. and a good guy. And, it, and it's important to say here that no element of the suicide is, is shown on screen. Yes. Um, yeah. So, so I mean, that's important. And what the soaps do, all of the soaps actually across the board, um, do really well is that they speak to the right people to make sure something as sensitive as this is done yeah. correctly. And I know you had uh, chats with the Samaritans and they helped you do it, but also worked very closely course, with, with Calm yeah. as well, with, with yourself. And, and you say what Coronation Street are doing here is brilliant because it's opening up the conversation, it's talking about something. It is. Um, and it's also a continuation of what you did, of course, with Project 84. Um, what we, we find very clear with your character and, and, and also with the other characters in the story that as it progresses on Coronation Street next week is that that inability for men to communicate and to actively seek help, but even just to unburden themselves and to uh, to talk to people about how they're feeling leads to this, this kind of isolation. And I think what, what you did with Project 84 and what you've done with Coronation Street is so brilliantly positive in, in all the darkness of the, the subject matter. What you're doing is brilliantly positive because what it, we're saying is that talking will help uh, and that's talking about certainly your, your issues as a, as a human, but also as a society, we, we're no good at talking about death. And, and talking about suicide is, is even harder. So we, we go back to the S word and, we don't, and, we, and we're embarrassed about it. Bringing this conversation into the mainstream uh, will reinforce that fact that there are 12 men every day, 84 a week. Um, and, and make that, hopefully, something that we, we, we can talk about in order to find a societal way to change that. Mm. We're not going to change that with formal medicine for men. We're finding that doesn't work, right? So I think just opening up the conversation that means that we tackle it head on, we, we look out for the signs and we're active. Yeah. And this continues in the storyline, actually, because after his, his death, yeah. this is David Platt. <clears throat> and we've watched, I mean, the horrifying scenes of David Platt and the male rape yes. storyline. But what this does is it makes him tell someone and mm. talk about it. Yeah, completely. I watched um, the whole episode yesterday. Um, and that was a very tough watch. Um, of course, my scenes that I do, very distressing. Um, but to watch the aftermath of how it affects people in different ways, that was the most important thing because not everyone's going to have the same opinion yeah. on it. Um, and then, yeah, I think it was very, very cleverly done. Um, it's not in your face, you know, it's quite a subtle message. We're trying to get it out there without saying, you know, you should talk. We've done it in a very clever way with, with, with Jack, um, with his storyline, because he then realises that, you know, I don't want to die. 
you know, um, and it's such an important, important message. And um, yeah, it's just cleverly done by Corrie. There, there will be, there always are critics um, who will say, well, I don't know that, that, that a soap is the right place to address this. What do you say to them? Where is um, the, the, the other stuff that we've done hasn't worked? So where is the right place to do it other than talking to people in their homes with people that they recognise, they understand? There's kind of a, an intimate relationship, right, with your yeah. character. Yeah. There's, there's an understanding. I think what's really clever as well is that with, with your character, there's so much, there's so many questions of, I didn't see that coming. How, yeah. is, how is that possible? Yeah. He's such a, you know, he's, somebody said uh, in one of the episodes he had the world at his feet. How yeah. could he possibly do that? Whereas Jack, he seems to be the one that exactly. everyone's expecting yeah. something to happen and Jack's playing it incredible, so everyone's quite worried that he may head towards that. So we'll just obviously see what happens. Then. And the biggest message here is that talking, talk, talk, talking helps. <sighs> talk to anybody, get a helpline, get a family member, get your friend, yeah. just tell somebody. Yeah. Yeah.